In the last episode of this makeover series, you saw my sister painting her armoire and us adding some beachy bohemian details to her cottage. My dad has also been working on his cottage right across the street, which you will see a lot of coming up in this episode. And this is two sisters consignment. It's down the street from my shop and I popped in to get a little inspiration. This is just gorgeousness. Okay, I'm back at the shop. And we're getting ready to open. I gotta move those pallets out of the way. They're blocking our mural. And there's a bunch of paint and boxes that need to be moved before we can open the doors. Done with church and she got her roll-up door and her carport. So this feels cute. We're gonna paint these stairs. Hey, let's see if she'll let me in. Hello. Hello, Sadie. Oh. Hello, Sadie. My sister is working on her entertainment center. We're just getting started, but she's turning into a designer all on her own. It is so fun to see them decorate their homes, and I get a little bit bossy sometimes, but it's very fun to put them to work while I go do other things for my shops. <gasps> it's the brushes. Excited? We're yes, so excited. <laughs> Hit up your favorite DIY retailer to get your brushes. <laughs> We're shipping them out like crazy. I am walking back to my shop. I needed some coffee because it's going to be a full day of packing brushes as fast as we can. My store is on Cedros Avenue in the middle of the design district. It's very hip and fancy. We're kind of like the Sanford and Son on the street, I guess. This is how it's going. Discuss this. <laughs> I told her not to purchase anything without my approval and she's purchased this and a few other things. But you approve. I do like it. Yes, it's to hide all your coffee clutter because the key for Danielle's small space is to minimize the look of clutter. These are her coffee apparatus. And this one was very shallow and high and it came with a removable shelf so I could- Did it have that hole so you could put your plugs through? No, I had to drill that hole. Well, oh. I had to have- So tell it. us, where did you find the coffee so garage? I found it on Amazon. <laughs> Um, but the company is it's called Homefully. It was awesome because it came with little video instructions on how to put it together and it's made really well. It was easy to assemble. I'm not using it as a bread box. I'm using it as a clutter uh, box. <laughs> a coffee garage box. How much was it? I think somewhere around 30, 40 bucks. Okay, maybe we'll put an affiliate link in the description box. Yes, idea, but I want to run it through the boss. The girl is turning into a decorator. I was thinking, look at how perfect they fit. We I'm impressed. Fit. Those Take those used to be knobs off. They used to be above your window in your old house. And I told her not to give anything away until we know exactly what we need and what we don't, but I love repurposing. Thinking like a DIYer. Am I? Are you changing? I'm getting there. What's <laughs> happening to you? Iron sharpening iron. <laughs> I, do I even know you anymore? I don't know. Am I looking more like you? <laughs> you kind of are, yeah. <laughs> Alma, what do you think? I think it's amazing. By the way, everyone, this is Alma. If you have ever sent us an email, Alma is the one who answers That's them. That's me. We love you, Alma. Thank you so much. I love responding. I hope I'm always kind and respectful. I think you are way, way more than I would be. <laughs> Just because I'm a one-fingered typer, I'm very brief. Alma, if anyone has any questions, how do they get a hold of us? You can email at hello at DIYagogo.com. Yes, and this lovely lady will answer your email. Hey. Hi. Are you happy to be back on the team full-time? My your partner in crime. Yes. <laughs> what are we going to do next? Big stuff. Going to Grandpa's house now. Good to see you, Grandpa. <laughs> What's up? What is, did you take a nap? <gasps> Hi, Levi. Hi, Levi. Looks pretty good, Dad. He copied my sister and hung a mirror just like her. He's a designer, too. What's happening? You got your baby? 
You got your baby? <gasps> this was Grandpa's Christmas gift from Ellie. There's Levi with his baby. And then on the other side is this. How cute is that? The back of Grandpa's island. He's got his cool bar stools. He cut off the tops. We'll give you a flashback of what they used to look like. If you do something, you're supposed to film it. Dad, now people couldn't see you cutting off your bar stools. They were super uncomfortable with the tops. So, Dad, I want you to do this this week. So we're gonna get the lath and plaster. Okay, All right. I am. Okay. I'm gonna get the boards tomorrow after I unload your stuff. Are, are you gonna let us film you doing it? Or are we gonna walk over here and it's gonna be done and <laughs> and then we're... I'll film it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be aesthetic. My dad is finishing up his kitchen island. He is using lath and plaster. It is what they used to use in the 1920s to build homes. And we had some of that from my store, which is a very old building, and my dad wanted to throw it away. And he had it in a big pile, ready for the trash. I don't, do not throw that away. And he rolled his eyes at me, it's junk. <laughs> You're gonna see how this junk turned into a beautiful kitchen island for my dad. He is so happy, you can see the look on his face. Every Sunday, we take a day off, go to church, and then hit up the farmer's market. This farmer's market is a lot of vegan. Vegan, vegan everywhere. I was vegan for 20 years. That doesn't work for me anymore. Now I'm ketivore, which is mostly protein, not vegan. And I found these, keto donuts. Our farmer's market also has a lot of local artisans and I'm always looking for inspiration wherever I go. This is Olga. You've seen me wear her jewelry before. Here she is. We Hi, love, Olga. We Olga. love Olga. Hi. If you've ever noticed Dion, she wears this beautiful turquoise necklace all the time. Olga made it. And I am going to buy this baby. So beautiful. Okay. It's a little montage of all kinds of little beads. Mm -hmm. It's like my little mishmash of goodies. Olga has been a jewelry artist for years. We, we go way back. We go we? way back. We go way back. It's my other niece, Emma. I'm the mystery niece. She's the mystery niece. She's going to cosmetology school just like oh her mama. Gosh. Get your hair done by me. Yes, you can. Where would they go to get their hair done by you? A Palomar Institute of Cosmetology. Oh, look how cute she is. Grandpa, what do you think of the keto donuts? Luscious. <laughs> <laughs> I never let him eat any sweets, so he's very happy with the keto donut. I got my flowers, I got my necklace. I, they took off without me. I gotta meet them back at the entrance. Look at those, so pretty. Five dollars a bunch. See that aqua little beachy cottage back there? I want my sister to paint hers that color. Okay, so I got Butcher Block uh, oil and claws at Home Depot. And I'm scared, but I'm gonna seal my Butcher Block top so that I don't have to freak out anymore over stains or people eating on it. Okay, it says mix container thoroughly. Apply with a soft, clean cloth. That's it. There's no other instructions, no actual directions on how to apply. Some of you have asked where my sister and my dad got their butcher block. They got it at Home Depot, but there is butcher block that's cut remnants that you can save money on. Be sure and look if you need some. That looks so much better. Okay, so the inside of this I just cleaned out a little bit. I gotta remove all these little hooks. Also want to paint this yellow. And I'm going with uh, liquid sunshine, nice and bright. That's what Debbie told me. Okay, I got my liquid sunshine and I am ready to paint the inside. Pretty bad right now, but 
I trust my sister when she says, just give it a base coat, let it dry, and come back. So I just realized that I can't paint this door until I get Debbie's salvation solution. Oh, wait. I have some. I found it in Grandpa's shed. Yay! I'm going to lay this down first so it doesn't beat up like this or create any tannins. I know it's the inside, but it'll make my job so much easier. Okay, that is going to save me. I just put salvation solution in white inside and it just is gonna act like a primer, brighten everything up because I was kind of wasting the yellow and I could see that. So I, I stopped the bleeding and got me some salvation solution. Okay, so I painted the inside finally one coat of cake batter. So I'm gonna have to do two, but it's the inside. I just wanted to brighten it up. I got my awning on both sides. Yay. Okay, I'm getting ready to paint this crinoline. It's a little bit of an off-white uh, color. It'll be the backdrop for this, and then we'll put the doors over. Ooh, that's gonna look so cool. First coat on the doors. Again, those paintbrush marks are bothering me, but it's just the first coat, so I'm not gonna worry. See how the water bottle just spreads that paint out? Makes it go so far. For all you skeptics out there, an eight ounce jar is gonna cover this whole piece of furniture. A little bit goes a long way. All you need is a water bottle. You don't have to be a pro. This is easy. Okay, first coat is dry, and I'm gone for a second now. I got all my tools ready to go. White is one of the hardest colors to get coverage on, and you can see this is going a long way. I told my sister just to do a sloppy coat because we're going to go back, add the doors, and some other details later. I gave her two coats, inside and outside, on the sides, and guess what? I still have paint left over. What you doing, Dad? What's this for? This is cool wood. This is gonna be for my bar. Oh, where's this wood from? It's um, left over from when I ripped it all out of Debbie's store that was lath and plaster, and I kept all the pieces. <gasps> <laughs> you kept all the pieces, or did Debbie make you keep all the pieces? Debbie made me. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you happy Debbie made you keep them? <laughs> it's all about the recycle and refurbish. Lay by. What you doing under there? Wow, Dad, look at how far you got. You like it? Hello? Huh? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is really cool. You're pretty handy. <laughs> And there is the finished project. Dad, how does it feel? It feels nice. <laughs> Levi loves it. <laughs> it looks great, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Somehow we're gonna take these two cabinets and turn them into one big entertainment center. I'm not sure how, but it'll be coming up in a future episode. Looks marvelous. Dad, you did it again. Another fine job. And I got my new refrigerator for all of those who were making fun of my tiny one that I had for the last month. I'm so excited. And there is the fan. 
took a break and headed over to my sister's to see how all these projects were coming along in person. I'm gonna see how the DIYs are going this week. Looks like she's not home, her car's not here. That's not good, I guess I should have called first. Then Grandpa lives right across the street. Where is Grandpa's completed bar? Oh my gosh, it looks amazing, Dad. It did turn out pretty good. <laughs> it turned out really good. Dad, it's all the lath and plaster from the shop. Grandpa wanted to throw it all away, and I said, no, that's beautiful. We didn't paint it, we didn't do anything. That's just natural beauty right there. Last week, I gave you a teaser about a new television series going to be doing a whole decorating makeover series on made tv it's going to be called the makers makeover the whole made tv network is specifically for creative people there are all kinds of tutorials on everything you could ever imagine on sewing and quilting and painting and creating art on canvas that is what i have been doing while my dad and my sister have been doing the diys i have some really fun videos coming up for you over there as well as here on YouTube so stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching to find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store or to find all the products used in this video click the link below thanks for watching in a hurricane and it's bubbling over like sweet champagne you got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain.